What is going on guys, JT Gilly back with another video. I know the lighting isn't too great, but we're starting off this video with a Mewtwo raid. Today is an insane day, a huge amount of massive, important, significant, I'm trying to use a lot of the same words here, news has come out today and I'm very, very excited. A lot of stuff is going to be happening soon in Pokemon Go and we're kind of in a rush. I'm breaking a little bit of a sweat. We just hopped in a Mewtwo raid and we have a Tyranitar raid we're going to hit right after this that ends in like 10 minutes and we're 8 minutes away. So I need to take down this Mewtwo very, very quickly, and then we gotta drive over there and hit that Tyranitar raid. Not a lot of raids today. I don't know why. We can't find any raids in the city, so that's kind of unfortunate, but hey, it's okay. We're just gonna get this one in, get a couple raids in. I was just gonna, you know, talk about what the event was and whatnot, but I was like, you know what? Let me go hit a few raids in the meantime, so we're doing that right now. We got 10 people on this Mewtwo. I am, yeah, now I'm sweating, so we're gonna go ahead and roll down the windows. We're gonna go ahead and roll down the windows. My apologies for that somewhat rushed intro right there. It is kind of hot, and we are crunched on time right now, but Mewtwo is already in the yellow dude i can't wait to talk about this this is so exciting man but as you guys can tell from the title and the thumbnail of the video and if you haven't heard the news already that is all around the world generation four is coming it is officially coming a huge huge announcement out of nowhere this morning from pokemon go that we're going to get into in just a little bit i also was not able to get a raid party set up so we're going with charizard for some reason which does not help but mewtwo goes down always hoping for that 2275 i honestly do not have time to catch this right here so i'm gonna have to catch this off camera i think that was like a 2198 or something so don't even worry about it if i do end up catching it i will let you guys know when we get to the next raid but there's mewtwo and 2198 that's bad okay I ended up catching that Mewtwo on the third ball it was not a good one I'm not gonna bother showing you guys or checking the IVs but we're going in on going in on the Tyranitar raid right here I always love doing these dude Tyranitar raids are amazing can't wait to get a good one I still I'm waiting to get a good one from a raid I think all the good ones I have are either hatches or caches so once I get one from a raid I'll be pretty happy and hopefully that happens right now but like I mentioned earlier dude I'm so freaking excited generation 4 is here in Pokemon well, not it's not live but it's coming and it's officially confirmed in Pokemon Go and not even generation 4 something that was in that trailer is more well not more important than generation 4 but is super super important in my last video which I talked about my predictions for the Halloween event this year I mentioned something about a specific Pokemon that was shown in the trailer and that is leaning or that is making me lean towards my idea being true I didn't really say that too well you guys understand what I'm saying I'm trying to like that really adds to my point of this possibility becoming a real thing. Sorry I couldn't word that too well, but 2056, that's not horrible. Um, if this was a Lugia, I'd be 100%, but it is not. A 2097 is what we're looking for, but this one might have some okay stats. One, two, and no. And boom, Tyrant's heart goes down. Yes, I'm in the car. There was a lot of cars driving by, and it's tough to do, it's so tough to do raids in the city and record because of all the cars and all the noise. So that's why I'm in the car, just so it's a little bit more quiet. Tyrant's are down right there, and it's got a tap. I mean, it's got HP on it, so that's definitely gonna get traded. But shout out to Tyrant's heart. Can never be mad at him. This is the Mewtwo I got again. I'm not gonna check IVs, but there it is. I caught it, so my ratio is still really good. I believe I'm like, I don't know, 30 for 29 or something like that. I've only missed one Mewtwo raid ever. I've only not caught it once. So doing really good on that, but now that those raids are out of the way I just wanted to get a couple raids in this morning just felt like it But now that those raids are done, let's get into generation 4 and Pokemon Go Let's break down the trailer. Let's go over what we think is gonna happen Let's go over what we think when we think it's gonna happen and let's go over some really important news that I honestly forgot to mention at the beginning of this video that regards CP changes and a new balance coming to Pokemon Go Which is honestly really really huge news ladies and gentlemen We've made it home and it is now time to watch the trailer and break that thing down Let's go and get into the official tweet right now from Pokemon Go app themselves The adventure continues get ready get ready to discover more in Pokemon Go Stay tuned and then here's the trailer right here. It's only only 20 seconds, but it definitely shows just enough for us to uh, get hyped. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into it. Here we go, pressing the play button right there. Okay, this is good quality, not too bad quality. Here's some footsteps and whatnot, okay. There's Turtwig, that's the Gen 3 grass starter. There's Chimchar, the, the Gen 3 fire starter. There was Piplup, the Gen 3 water starter. So those are the three starters, and these are all the same Pokemon that you're seeing. It's just those three starters. And then, boom, whoa, 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 whoa. 
I know, kind of a quick trailer, not really much in there, but if we break it down, there sure is. Now let me go back because I know that was really, really quick. Okay, before I get into this, I feel like I said Generation 3 starters, but I meant 4. Anyways, this is the Generation 4 starter Turtwig. It is a grass type Pokemon. I don't know why it's not showing the full version. We all know what this Pokemon is, but anyways, let's go ahead and keep going. There's Turtwig right there, and then it shows us our first look at Chimchar, the fire type starter of Generation 4, and then right there we get a small small glimpse of Piplup under the ice not the greatest quality like you can't really see anything but there's Piplup the generation 4 water starter now what you're about to see is you're about to see some scary stuff you see red eyes you see like a monster in a cave and you're like what the heck's going on that monster that Pokemon that Pokemon is Giratina now Giratina is a generation 4 legendary Pokemon and oh my god is that one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Pokemon, was it Pokemon Black? The video game, I think Pokemon Black. That was definitely one of my favorites of the old Pokemon games. I enjoyed that one a ton and Giratina was my freaking guy. So Giratina is about to be shown in the trailer. You guys already saw it, but I'm gonna go ahead and stop it right there. There is Giratina, there are his eyes. He's in a cave right there. That is so freaking cool, dude. That was so cool of them to put that in the trailer, dude. That is so, so awesome. That's the Generation 4 Legendary Pokemon. One, meaning Generation 4 Legendary Pokemon are coming soon as well. Now, let me tell you what I mentioned earlier in this video. Like I said, in the last video, Mewtwo ends on the 23rd of October. What are they setting us up for? Why does it end right before the Halloween event probably gets announced, or maybe during it? What are they setting us up for? What do you think? What did I say last video? I said that I think Giratina would be coming out as the next Legendary Pokemon. I think that there's a really, really good chance that we get a Generation 4 Legendary after Mewtwo. It kind of seems like a good idea to top off old Legendary Raids with Mewtwo and then start new ones with Giratina. I think that because of this trailer, because of what you're seeing on the screen right now, this really, really adds to the possibility of Giratina becoming the next Legendary Raid Pokemon. So I am super stoked for that. There's a really good chance that happens. If it does, I will go insane and I will raid. I'll do 40 raids a day every single day until I get 40 100% IV Giratinas. Um, no, I'm just kidding, but Giratina is a crazy Pokemon. Now, something about all of this that's really cool that kind of I haven't really talked about too much, I kind of briefly went over it. They're changing a lot in Pokemon Go. Not a ton, but it's going to be a pretty significant change in Pokemon Go, and I want to make sure you guys know what this change is and how to prepare for it, and don't be stunned when your Pokemon loses some CP. So let's go ahead and get into all of that news that is in the official article, but just wrapping up the trailer, dude, we saw the three Generation 4 starters, and we ended the trailer with Giratina. A lot of people thought that it, that, that was Dialga or Arceus or, or even even Palkia, but I, it may look similar, I get that, but that's definitely Giratina. It has the red eyes and whatnot, so I'm pretty sure that's Giratina. That is without a doubt for sure guaranteeing Giratina is coming to Pokemon Go, and if that's soon, who knows, but I really think it will be. Now let's get into the official article provided to us by Pokemon Go. Community note, upcoming changes to Pokemon Go, and then has the trailer right there. Are you ready for a Sinnoh adventure? That is the uh, region of Generation 4. We're excited to let you know that in preparation for the arrival of Pokemon originally discovered in the Sinnoh region, we are making two key shifts to the game balance in the coming weeks. These changes are based on trainer feedback and are designed to promote an improved overall experience so it's definitely a good thing changes to pokemon migration and behavior as you explore the world of pokemon go the following changes will affect the pokemon that appear around you we are making adjustments to weather and moving forward it will have a reduced effect on the rate at which pokemon appear i'm interpreting that as kind of like a, they're going to adjust the weather so if it's if it's raining outside not every single spawn will be because of the rainy weather like there'll still be regular spawns but an increased amount of pokemon that will be boosted by rainy weather not just totally rainy weather. I guess that was an issue for a lot of people. As you explore a given area, you will notice that a greater variety of Pokemon species will appear over time and at different rates. They're kind of adjusting nests Certain areas, such as parks and nature reserves, will now contain more varied Pokemon species. So maybe they're maybe they're taking away nests in completely. I mean, that's what it kind of sounds like. Maybe I'm interpreting that wrong, but it sounds like they don't want a lot of one Pokemon spawning in one place. They kind of want a variety. So that's kind of a good and bad thing. Changes to Pokemon effectiveness in battle. We also wanted to use this opportunity to rebalance in-game battle mechanics. You may notice some of the following changes in the coming weeks. CP values will be adjusted going forward, so CPs will either get lowered or they'll either get nerfed or buffed aka lowered or high or 
or hired. Now this applies for each and every Pokemon and varies for each and every Pokemon in the game. I don't think all Pokemon will be lower or all Pokemon will be hired. I think it's going to depend on the Pokemon what its stats are. So that's that. Pokemon defense and Pokemon stamina values will be retroactively rebalanced, allowing highly defensive Pokemon to be valuable in battle by outlasting opponents rather than simply running out the clock. This is a big problem. As you guys know, Blissey's, Snorlaxes, and whatnot are freaking tanks, dude. But there aren't too many good defensive Pokemon. There's a ton of great offensive Pokemon, great Pokemon that you can use to attack with, but there aren't really, there's not a lot of variety in the amount of good defensive Pokemon in the game. So this is going to try to help more Pokemon be better um, in terms of def defense. So that's what they're working on with that. Defense values have also been slightly retroactively reduced for, both, for most Pokemon. Changes like these will help narrow the gap between Pokemon with the highest defensive stats and other Pokemon. So it seems like they're taking a lot of Pokemon in the game and lowering their defense. So a lot of the defensive Pokemon, like a Pokemon or, that are just known for their defense and not their offense, are going to be more valuable. So that's going to be a pretty good thing and it's going to be useful. Does this open the gate for legendaries being available in gym being available in gyms and whatnot? Definitely. I think this is kind of like hopefully they can introduce it soon, but I think this is kind of opening the gate for the Reggies to be left in gyms and whatnot, but we're going to have to see about that again when all this actually comes into the game, we'll have more information. Moving forward, you can expect to see further tweaks designed to help trainers and their Pokemon reach their full potential. We're looking forward to experiencing these event these changes with you as we explore the world together. Let's go out there and go. So again, defensive Pokemon are going to get better because they're going to lower the defense on other Pokemon. So defensive Pokemon will be more valuable. CPs will be adjusted in the near future. We're going to have to see how that happens. Don't you dare touch my 100% IV Charizard unless you're going to make that better, okay? Don't touch it because I <laughs> that's my Charizard. I like where it's at right now. Leave that guy alone. You can, you can make all my Pokemon zero CP, but leave that Charizard alone. You know what I'm saying? And then we got Generation 4 trailer, Generation 4 starters in the trailer, and then Giratina. I promise you, man, I'm telling you, I think there's a really, really good chance we get Giratina soon. If it doesn't happen, if it, do it doesn't happen, but I feel like... Come on, I mean, like, I can't be the only person that thinks that there's a real possibility that it's the next Generation 4 Legendary, or that it's the next Raid Boss. I don't know, man. I'm really excited to see what you guys have to say. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the Generation 4 trailer. Let me know what you think about these adjustments in the game. And let me know if you think Giratina is the next Legendary Raid Boss. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are if you guys have not already and leave a like and subscribe for generation four because it's coming soon hope you guys enjoyed i will see your faces later have a great rest of your day deuces